Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with the October's Mixed Media Mayhem. And this month our layout to um, lift, scrap lift, was picked by Jesse, Jesse B. Scrapbooking. And so uh, this is such a cool layout. I was excited to um, work with this, although I don't do hexagons, so just so you know. <laughs> I have this one four by six picture that I'm going to trim down and I'm going to pull out my solar paste by Ranger for the very first time. I have not used it yet. I ordered it before I moved and thought I'm going to set it aside and use it um, after I move. And I've been in my apartment for almost three months or actually over three months. So it's time y'all. So I've got two different stencils. One I'm going to push the paste through and one I'm gonna push some ink through. I'm gonna use a black background instead of a white one like they have in the original layout uh, because I wanna use my solar paste. And I'm gonna use the pretty much the remainder of my New Day collection by Echo Park. Um, I have one single 12 by 12 sheet in here and a couple scraps and quite a few stickers. So those are gonna be left over, but um, yeah. I am on a mission to get these things used up. So I have my papers. I have some embellishments. I have some mixed media and some stencils. And I have my picture and this awesome layout. So let's see how this goes. So I start with this color here. And I decided to go with the speckled egg because I tested it out on black to make sure that it was going to stand out. Um, I got really excited about thinking about using my solar paste and I thought, oh, I don't know which one of my inks is going to work on black paper. And so I tested this one out and I love that because it works well with this collection. And um, this stencil is just kind of a cool... Um, you can make it floral. If you look at it really closely, it can almost be hexagon-ish. And you can also make it floral. And so I kind of did a little bit of both. Um, and so after I got done, I put the stencil down and did the solar paste through the little dragonfly stencil. And that is Golden Hour. And that's the Simon Hurley uh, solar paste by Ranger. And I, I didn't let it dry. <laughs> I set it aside for a few minutes while I made the, I pulled out my creative memory circle punch and punched a bunch of circles out of my leftover papers. And other than that, I mean, it's partially dry. I don't want to touch it. Oh, it's dry. <laughs> That's fabulous. Uh, not while I'm working on it, though, like right this minute, because I do get a little on my finger. Um, but I'm going to put my arrangement of circles kind of a little different than on the sketch or on the layout because my picture is bigger. And I don't want to cover that whole strip that I put down um, that came from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet from the New Day collection. So I don't want to cover that completely. I'm not worried about covering the mixed media, especially the ink, because there I've got that kind of going up and down. And I'm not worried about like right where that strip in the middle is getting covered up. But I wanted to make sure I had a little bit of that... Um, speckled egg coming out right there on the left of the picture and down below on the left of the um, the solar paste. So I'm kind of just going a little crazy with the circles. I'm trying to not have them be like the same design next to each other. Um, I'm, I am having some come off the edge and I do love the look of that. Um, her... Um, hexagons are more like laid out a little neater. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, and I love the way it turns out. So really all in all, it's just fabulous. Um, so I have put the circles to where they're not covering up the dragonflies and the little stars and stuff. Cause I just love them so much. Um, had I really kind of thought through, I may have put the dragonflies up a little higher in the left corner and not so low, but um, all in all, like I said, I love the way this turned out. So I'm going to make my title beautiful. They have like a thing on here that says brothers, and then there's another thing on here that says siblings. So I am going to add another little, um, could be part of the title, could be the title. Um, you know, it's fine. This is honestly a picture of me and one of the teachers at my school. I was walking around with the infamous Ashley that I talk about all the time, my work bestie, handing out transportation changes. And when I got to this teacher's classroom, 
uh, she was my niece's teacher and I was texting back and forth with my niece about something. And so I took this selfie of me and her, one of her absolutely favorite teachers and said, look who I'm hanging out with. So, and I love this picture so much. And so I asked if I could put it on YouTube and she said, of course. So I love this picture. It's fun. And I like when we do all these kind of casual, just random, not planned out kind of things. And that's pretty much how my life is these days. <laughs> I don't plan much of anything. Things just happen. Um, so after I got all these lovely things on here, I do go in and add some more florals. Um, that little um, like um, plant sign is right next to my friend. It says plant smiles and she definitely does. Um, she is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And so then I also add like some other random flowers kind of around to fill in some spaces and I add this little um, chipboard at the bottom that says just be you and it's got like the camera with the little bees on it. And after filming, I do add a couple little bees that I found sitting on my desk that are actually from a uh, simple story collection, maybe. Um, but they fit and it was fine. Uh, other than that, I add a few little um, enamel dots kind of around in some different places and I'll date it after I turn off the camera and I'll probably let write a little journaling note somewhere about me and my friend. So that is it. This layout by uh, Seattle Sherry is really cool. It's about three years old it looks like but it is so cool and I love the mixed media and I'm glad that I finally pulled my solar paste out. I hope you'll go check out the other creatives who are hopping along with mixed media mayhem. I hope you'll come back and see me again. We have a few more days of 30 days of sketches going on and then we'll be on to November. So I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not. Hope you have a great day. Hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love and happy scrapping.